Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Uh, this is Ashutosh, uh, your friend from Washington DC, uh, and uh, we will be learning a new topic today. Okay, today we'll be learning in Hindi uh, how to give compliment in Hindi, right? Which is a very interesting topic. Okay, uh, as you can see, our the title, you know, picture we have uh, one of the tennis player wearing a sari, right? And if you would like to give a compliment to her, you need to know that, right? So. Let's begin our session. Okay, so a uh, compliment, you know, you can give in many forms, right? I mean, you can say, you know, if some someone has a nice car, you can say your car is nice. Uh, you can say your bike is great. Your daughter is genius. Uh, her sari is beautiful. Your garden is lush. Okay, and you are looking wonderful. Um, but for the sake of this lecture, I'm gonna be limiting the adjective to just acha, which is good. Okay, and uh, the grammar around it. But once we understand how acha works, you'll be able to pick up other adjectives as well, right? So let's see how uh, the table looks like in all the languages uh, that we are covering, right? Comparative analysis. Okay, so I have here the analysis of six languages. Okay, so in English, uh, when we talk about you know compliments, let's say. It giving a compliment to a you know both both the nouns like both the genders I mean like a boy or a girl right and in singular as well as in plural form so you have good boy okay you have good boys you have good girl and good girls right so these two are masculine and these two are feminine uh, singular plural singular plural right so you can see across all of them we are using good Right. So an adjective doesn't change even though you are changing uh, the gender and even though you're changing uh, the the form also from singular to plural in English that's how it behaves right whereas in the other languages as we shift from you know from the left to the right you will see that it's not like that right so in Spanish you have uh, for boy you have buen chico whereas like the moment you have a masculine plural right you're using your adjective is also changing, buenos, buenos, right? Similarly, for um, for feminine uh, plural, when you are changing um, the form, your adjective is also changing, right? Now let's look at the French. French, it's also quite following the same pattern, right? I mean, for singular, you have one adjective, whereas plural, masculine, you have a different adjective. Right. Similarly, for the you know feminine singular and feminine plural. Whereas, like in German, you know, uh, and correct me if uh, it is wrong. You know, German speakers, you know, I'll be more than glad to correct it. Uh, Sometimes Google can be wrong as well, right? <laughs> so, uh, for a good boy, you have a good junge, junge, right? For the, whereas, like for plural, you have guten. Okay, but it remains same for uh, when you convert the gender right? in arabic uh, it's you know zayat for a masculine singular and uh, for feminine sing singular you put uh, zayada you so you you have the sound of a ah at the end so it's zayada right uh, and arabic speakers you can give me uh, some information about like how uh, masculine plural works and how uh, feminine plural works and i'll put it here right i just didn't want to make a mistake here but now come to hindi right in hindi the way it works like you know for masculine singular you have acha okay for plural you have ache ache okay for both feminine singular and feminine plural you will have achi achi all right so the first thing now comes to our mind is like how do we identify what is singular and what is you know uh, plural similarly what is masculine and what is feminine right so it's it's a very tricky question and i have prepared two lectures before i'm going to give a link here again uh, so you can you know uh, refresh uh, those concepts as well right so just to recap uh, we are discussing these three categories right uh, masculine singular masculine plural and feminine singular and feminine plural i'm combining both of them so you use acha here you use 
अच्छे फॉर मैस्कुल प्लूरल एंड फॉर बोथ फेमिन लाइक यू नो फॉर्म्स यूज अच्छी ओके सो सम ऑफ द एग्जाम्पल्स आर लाइक यू नो गार्डन कॉलेज सूट राइट सो यू कैन से आपका योर गार्डन अच्छा है एंड वी आर यूजिंग अगेन आई एम रिपीटिंग इट सो दैट वे यू नो यू कैन यू नो अंडरस्टैंड द कॉन्सेप्ट you know repetitively so i'm using acha because garden is in hindi it's considered masculine singular okay and the second you know row you can say aapke kids acche hain and we are using acche here because kids it's definitely plural you know but kid it's in the category of masculine in hindi right that's why it's acche let's look at the third row right in the third row you have आपकी बाइक अच्छी है बाइक इज फेमिन सिंगुलर एंड आपकी साड़ी अच्छी है right? आपकी साड़ी अच्छी है बोथ आर फेमिन सिंगुलर राइट सो सो नाउ यू नो राइट इफ यू वांट टू गिव अ कॉम्प्लीमेंट टू समवन ऑन दिस साड़ी यू कैन से आपकी साड़ी अच्छी है so uh, the formula here right let's come to the formula so once you know uh, once you understand how to identify a particular object or a noun into a masculine or feminine category you can use this formula right aapka and then fill in the blanks acha hai right um aapke uh, let's say kapde acche hain okay aapki um, dressing sense achhi hai so and these are for like you know if you know the devanagari script you can follow uh, the hindi writings as well right um next topic is as you know i always like to ask you a quiz right i don't want to uh, leave the topic uh, without a quiz right so please make sure you uh, complete the quiz and your task is to uh, you want to give compliment on these four things to someone and you have to write them in hindi right so uh, I'll see you tomorrow okay don't forget to subscribe